My name is Phil Reamer. I'm a first year MBA student here at University of Maryland. Um, sure, so my name is David Miller. We're here on the Paint Fans Trail right by Lot 11B. My name is Katie. My name is Chris. And we're uh, cutting and base species Japanese bush honeysuckle and trying to replace it with some other things like planting pawpaws and something else. Spice. Yeah, spice. <laughs> well, for the trail itself, it's important. We're taking down invasive species, helping keep the ecosystem yeah, stable. It's just like learning about the, about what the plants look like and what we're trying to do has been kind of interesting. Like, I don't know anything about plants, but being able to see, oh, this one has like opposite leaves or and the striped bark and these kinds of berries. It's kind of, I don't know, that was interesting for me. I work here at the University of Maryland and I'm an alum, so being involved and meeting students and everything and serving not only like the people around our community but also like taking care of our environment and the ecosystem. As far as the community, I mean everyone loves this trail to keep it maintained, to keep it full, it's better for the community as a whole for us to be able to use it. I think a time to bless the community and I don't know, the City of College Park uh, has certainly been good to us so we'd like to get back like that. I mean, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, we've all seen each other in the classroom only pretty much. So it's been great to get out here and work one-on-one -on -one with each other. It's been a great team bonding exercise. Man, now I was teaching someone how to plant a tree for the first time. So that was a fun experience. So this, I guess this is actually a multi-year project to try and just keep the invasive species down because these things like I'm assuming don't have any sort of natural predators, I might, you might say. So they crowd out native species and don't feed the native species as well if they do eat them. Well, I mean, because I feel like most people who don't take those things seriously is because like, they just don't have the energy to think about it or whatever, but I mean, it's important and we should all be educating ourselves. I try to continue to educate myself. Yeah. I certainly don't know everything, but and when you have an opportunity to do something productive, why not take it? Yeah, worst comes to worst, you enjoy a great day outdoors. I'm hoping that this isn't like a futile effort against these uh, invasive species. I, I think we're doing some good. I like planting the fall fall trees. That was fun. I like planting stuff. So that was enjoyable. We live in an apartment, so don't really get the opportunity to do that. <laughs> and uh, that was great. Yeah, I liked tearing the stuff down and dragging the giant All the branches. Invasive species. But yeah, yeah, that was fun. Oh, I love this. Um, I actually used to do horticulture, so I used to plant trees for a living. Uh, so to come out here and to be able to do it for the community, it's, it's a blast. I love it. Yeah, so I mean, even if you're someone that doesn't enjoy coming out onto the trail and working out here, you can do something small in your backyard. Even if it's as simple as just planting a small bush, something small to help out local butterflies, little butterfly gardens. Super easy. That's a great place to start. This is Wangari Matai. They, uh, uh, Nobel Prize winner. She won the uh, Nobel Peace Prize for her work in Kenya planting trees. Uh, won the Nobel Peace Prize for her work teaching women in villages in Africa to start tree nurseries and she got a lot of flack from the uh, establishment in Kenya for not uh, for working with women who couldn't really read and write. And she would, uh, people would say, well, you know, they don't have a diploma, how can they plant a tree? And she would say, well, you don't need a diploma to plant a tree. And she really, uh, um, her work really bolstered democracy in Kenya.